What's up, man? Making another video. Yeah, you know me. I stay on the motherfucking camera. You know what I mean? I got a lot of motherfuckers. I guess they want to play like they know me. Talking about your mom smoking crack. She was a prostitute. Uh, she didn't pay attention to you. I mean, you got part of that right. I mean, I say one of that right. Yeah, she smoked it. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be. Oh, uh, I don't talk about my mom because it's the truth. And I guess she exposed me. I mean, that's cool because I exposed you. Now you want to expose me? But see, what I'm saying is, she had a job. She wasn't out prostituting like your mom. See, you get my mom and your mom confused. Because she wasn't out here prostituting. She had a job, bro. I went to a job. She was throwing bank rolls on the couch from her job. You know what I mean? Broccoli Lodge. You know you might not know that because you ain't from Sean Tucky. But Broccoli Lodge is a place where you work. You know what I mean? If you do some history, you know about it. So, like I said, man. Yes, yeah, she did it, but wasn't crack an academic? Didn't Rick Ross, not the rapper, but the real Rick Ross... Didn't he sell that shit like he was a drug lord? And I know he just didn't sell it in Kentucky. To be a drug lord, you can't just sell one thing. It's got to be over all 50 states. You dig what I'm saying, man? When you're a drug lord. But motherfuckers just want to put me in there. So what I'm trying to say is, your mama your daddy was on the shit too. Because he was a drug lord. But anyways, what I'm saying is, man, y'all got this music. And it's promoting the shit that, that, that my lifestyle is going through. Like, y'all portraying my lifestyle. That's why I'm coming up, because this shit ain't no cool. You portraying a real gangster, cuz. A real gangster's life. But you talking about you selling bricks, cuz. You selling bricks. But you ain't got no damn struggle. So why is you selling bricks for? When you probably went to school, you probably had a silver spoon, cuz. You know what I mean? You had a silver spoon. But you want to portray this gangster life. Because I guess because the industry tell you to do it. But I'm telling y'all ass man from a real perspective. You better get up off this shit. Because I just turned from a uh, gangster to a jack boy. When you start talking to this dope boy. And you ain't got no proof of doing this shit. And I come at you talking about let me see a brick. Because if you ain't got no brick. You can beat the fuck up. Because now, now I see what you're doing. You laughing at me. Nigga love crack, baby. You laughing at me like it's funny. Like my struggle's funny, nigga. I don't see a damn thing funny about my motherfucking struggle. But like I said, man. Man, y'all need to change that music because we got kids growing up. What you want your kids selling crack going to jail? The cycle to keep on going? So you want your kids in jail. I mean, if you don't stop listening to this damn music, it's going to fuck you up, man. Because like they say, motherfucking beats... And music and rhythm, all that, one goes to your left brain, one goes to your right brain, man. And when you sleep, one of them, I forgot which one. I mean, I can study it, but talk. I don't want to talk about that. It's not my point. But what my point is, shit, you need to stop it because that goes inside your brain and fucks you up, man. And then you're doing all that stupid shit off of because of what you're listening to. You dig what I'm saying, man? But like I said, man. Crack was an academic, man. It hit all 50 states. Probably overseas, too. So my mother just ain't the one that was on crack, man. Your mother was probably on crack heroin. Probably on PCP. But you want to come and holler at a real nigga. Yeah, like I said, yeah. And I shout out to them niggas that motherfucking exposed me. Because I'm exposing your motherfucking free hoes that ain't on no corner. Then you going to come to me. Like I said, man, this is my struggle, cuz. I don't know what you doing it for. I grew up into it, so everything I'm saying is real. See, you don't see me rapping about the shit. Because the shit ain't funny, man. It ain't cute to me. I try to look past that shit. You know what I mean? Eventually, they gonna hit on me, find me on YouTube, and it's gonna fuck up the whole industry. Because this shit ain't cool, man. It ain't cool. Yeah, I was in the game. I was in the game because I wanted love, not because I wanted hoes. Because I ain't had love, like y'all saying. Yo mama smoking crack and she, maybe she, I mean, maybe she she didn't want to pay attention to me. But now you paying attention to me, to me, because she in the graveyard, man. So now you got to listen to me.
You dig what I'm saying? So if you ain't no real gangster, you ain't no real dope dealer, get the fuck out the game because you mean you a snitch, you a FBI informant, you a CIA informant, you a motherfucking snitch, and you the reason the motherfucking police in my motherfucking hood, nigga. And if you don't get the fuck up off the bullshit like my ancestors did, we're going to run your ass up out my country, cuz. And I mean that with all my motherfucking heart. I don't give a fuck where you at, where you from, because truly, nigga, I run this whole country, cuz. You came from ships, man. Any nigga came from ships, man. I was here when they came and brought your ass. I was like, what the fuck these niggas are doing? Nah, they got, you know what I mean? At first, the white man hit us off the liquor, off the motherfucking shit, then put shit in our, uh, where we sleep at, so we can motherfucking die. That's what it is. They don't want us here no more. And you trying to kill us with this poison ass music. But I'm going to change that shit. Because I understand the game. I got family in this shit. They ain't even selling cane no more. They were like doing their time for some shit they did years ago. When you stuck in the game, you stuck in the game. Shout out to all them niggas that think they big drug dealers. Because the new slavery is your ass in prison and jail, nigga. But see, they trying to get everybody like that. Like I said, change your motherfucking lifestyle. Because this ain't your motherfucking lifestyle. You is not no damn condom, nigga. This ain't your lifestyle. Everybody want to be a gangster. But if you are so gangster, nigga, take your ass to the streets and shoot, shoot up some damn police, nigga. Get the fuck up on my Facebook. I'm trying to educate these hoes. I cannot educate the nice way. I wasn't brought up the nice way. So I can't educate the nice way. But like I said, man, man, find you another topic, cuz. Cause I'm coming up. I'm coming up real soon. Sooner than you think. And if you ain't got no damn brick, you can't show me what you talking about. That means you're a hypocrite, you lying, and somebody gave you them damn rhymes, man. And that's some real shit on everything I love, man. On God, you really gonna get exposed. And I hate using God because I don't like saying his name in vain, but he know I'm serious. So take this video, however you want, anybody, any hoe, any nigga in the 50 United States, if you want me, I'm in Sean Tucky. I don't mind dying. Because why? Jesus Christ couldn't have no gun. Jesus Christ, what he say? Forgive them for what they not know. You don't know shit. So I'm trying to teach y'all ass. What you might want to do is look at this damn screen and learn some shit before you come and holler at a real nigga, man. Holler at your nigga.